Where am I? Help me! Keep it down before they hear you. Before who hears me? Who's going to hear me? Told you, keep it down before they hear you. Mr. Fisher is awake. We sedated him over five hours ago, which means by now he should be coherent enough for us to get through his evaluation. Honestly, he's only been here for what? A day or two? <laughs> two days to be exact. Yes, but need I remind you, he has been at this facility numerous times as a child. Coming in with the doctor for a checkup. Doctor, are you sure? Yes. Lamont? It's time for your medication and evaluation. Look, I don't need any more drugs. You heard the doctor. Why am I here? What is this? What you... Don't worry, you are safe yeah. now, Mr. Fisher. I'm Dr. Ava Ramirez, and you're at Sleepy Angel Psychiatric Institute due to a court order that we will be discussing momentarily. Look, if, if I agree, are you able to take this jacket off me? Yes, of course. Lamont, I will remind you, if you try anything out of the ordinary, I will have the staff physically restrain and sedate you. Okay. Please remove the jacket. That wasn't so bad, was it? Look, what type of drugs do you guys have me on? 
What? The ones I gave you are mood stabilizers. It's an antipsychotic medication that is given to patients diagnosed with schizophrenia. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Will you give Mr. Fisher and I a few moments, please? Dr. Ramirez, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, doctor, I don't we think we should leave you alone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, look, we'll be right outside the door if you need anything. Of course. Lamont, do you have any memory of how you ended up here? On account of you don't remember anything, you are here because according to your statements from authorities and your roommate, who in fact is in severe condition, you have not been taking your medication in the past year. Yes, I have. And you have been suffering from severe paranoia and auditory hallucinations due to your schizophrenia. Your roommate said that you have been hearing someone or something under the bed chewing human meat. <laughs> he also said that the voices have been telling you to kill yourself. No. <laughs> no. I'm not crazy. What do you mean my roommate is in severe condition? Are you aware that you told authorities? that the voices told you to set fire to the apartment. No, no. While your roommate was still inside. No, no. He barely made it out alive. No. When the police found you, you were on the roof's ledge getting ready to jump 20 stories. Apparently the voices said that was a good idea. <laughs> if it wasn't for an onlooker in the building across the street, we would have lost you. You have been involuntarily hospitalized by the courts until further notice. This could take from a month up to years. No. No. Lamont? No. No. One, two, three, Lamont? Four, six, seven, eight, you need to calm down, okay? <laughs> if you do not, I will have my staff step in and immediately restrain and sedate you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. The doctor! Why would you do that? I thought the medication would have... They told me to do it. Voices. <laughs> Doctor, I still have 50 milligrams of haloperidol for sedation. I never been dealing with this my whole life. I never asked for any of this. I understand. Jason, please administer the haloperidol, please. <laughs> 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 Mr. Fisher, we're going to let you rest for a few more hours until we can finish the evaluation. Oh,
Lamont. 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 Lamont.